While manufacturing an injection molding part, you have the choice of either opting for a single or multiple cavities. Which option is the better one? Let's find out. Hi everyone, this is Shiny from Rapid Direct, and today we'll be discussing the merits and the demerits of single and multi-cavity modes in injection molding. Before we go about discussing which type is better, let's take a moment to discuss what it means by a single or multi-cavity in injection molding. Single cavity modes, as their names suggest, consist of a single cavity that creates one component per cycle. They are ideal choice for low volume projects because you can quickly get started and don't have to invest too much at the initial cost. On the other hand, multi cavity modes are capable of creating multiple components in the same cycle. This gives you better lead times and has a direct impact on overall productivity. When deciding whether to select a single cavity or multi cavity modes, four important parameters must be considered. Those are your production or lead times, volume, manufacturing costs, and finally the part price. For production times, multi cavity modes are naturally better than their single counterparts. During a single cycle, Multi cavity modes can create multiple parts. This higher productivity means shorter lead times, which means that you can get a lot more done more quickly. Building onto the last part, multi cavity modes are also ideal for higher production volumes, generally in multiple thousands or hundred thousands. As more parts are produced in a single cycle, you can easily get all your orders in time without any compromise on quality. Does that sound amazing? The next consideration is manufacturing costs. There are two aspects to this, the initial cost and the part production cost. We will deal with part costs later in this video. As for the mode, single cavity ones are more economical than multi cavity modes. There are fewer complexities in their design and the simplicity reflects the inner cost as well. Similarly, the machine required or single cavity modes has lower tonnage requirements and gives the operator greater control. Multi cavity modes, however, don't work like that. They are relatively complex and require machine with higher tonnage, which results in significantly higher initial costs. Now, finally, the last consideration is the part production cost. This case is the opposite of what we just discussed regarding the initial costs. For part production, a greater number per cycle means better economies of scale and a better overall cost breakdown. That's one of the reasons why multi cavity modes are so popular for high volume projects. For smaller volumes, spending all that money on the machine and the multi cavity modes simply doesn't make sense. Now we are moving towards the end of this video and I will be summing up everything for you. For any injection molding project, you have to decide while selecting the type of mode. The right choice depends on your requirements and the application as there is no one size fits all approach in manufacturing. Both single cavity and multi cavity modes come with their merits, and the right choice depends on how you find the balance between the cost, time, and the process quality. At Rapid Direct, we provide the most comprehensive injection molding facility recognized across the globe, from small to large scale industrial projects to the tolerance down to 0.05 mm. Rest assured, it's guaranteed that we can fulfill all your requirements without any compromise on the quality, cost, or time of delivery. Simply visit our website and check out our proprietary manufacturing platform to get everything set in the quickest time. So, we hope you like this video. For more informative and engaging content, be sure to like and subscribe to our channel. This is Shiny from Rapid Direct signing off. Until next time, have a great day. Bye bye.